Hello everyone, I'm the old guy and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pharaoh. This is episode 18, part two. In part one, we did Kibet, fighting for peace. And in part two today, we're gonna do Menet Khufu, hunger. Let's take a look. Your family's performance during the civil war has not gone unrewarded. I, Pharaoh Mentuhotep, have awarded your family the rank of vizier. There is no one else in Egypt that I trust more than you. Now that the twin kingdoms of Upper and Lower Egypt are reunited, and the capital at Wast is thriving, I need you to help me solidify my position throughout the kingdom. While reunited, Egypt is prone to internal skirmishes, particularly in areas that were once loyal to the Henenesu rulers. To help solidify the newly reunited country, I want you to rebuild and defend Menat Khufu, which was nearly destroyed during the Civil War. Menat Khufu should be a glorious city that shows Egypt's citizens what is possible under my rule. Famine still stalks the country, and frequent requests for food will come to you from other cities in the kingdom. Respond as quickly as you can to their heart-rending pleas, so that all Egypt will know my benevolence and the dedication of my most trusted vizier. I have one more noble request. I want you to build granite obelisks to further proclaim all I have done for this land in my lifetime. I know that I am asking much of you, but I also know that you are the only one in Egypt capable of doing what I have asked. All right, we're going to be playing on very hard difficulty again. We're going to need a population of 7,000, a culture rating of 60, a prosperity rating of 50, a monument rating of 21, and a kingdom rating of 75. Minute Khufu, reunification. Let's take a look at the map. All right, let's slow the game down here. There we go. And we're going to take a look at what we have available for this mission. For farms, we have pomegranate, fig farms, barley, and flax. We also have the irrigation ditch and work camp. For raw materials, we only have the plain stone quarry. Potters, brewers, weavers, shipwright, and construction guild, the carpenters guild, and stonemasons guild are available. The granary, bazaar, storage yard, and dock is available. Booth, bandstand, pavilion, senate house, juggler school, conservatory, and dance school. For the shrines and the temples, we have Osiris, Ra, and Bast to please. The, com the temple complex belongs to Osiris. The monument is a small obelisk. We'll have to build a couple of those, I think. And we have the festival square. Scribble school and library. Well, water supply, dentist, apothecary, physician, mortuary, firehouse, architects, post, police station, task collector, courthouse, city palace, dynasty mansion, roadblock, water crossings, we have the bridge and ferry landing, as well as beautification, gardens, plazas, small, medium, large statues. There is a military tab, defensive structures, walls, towers, and gatehouses, a recruiter, fort, infantry, and archers. Uh, Academy, Weaponsmith, Warship Wharf, and Transport Wharf. Let's take a look at the map. We have a small little city here that we need to put a roadblock, maybe get rid of this road here, and maybe shut down food supply, I think I'm going to do. We also have this floodplain that is very thin on both sides of the river. We can only fit, it looks like, maybe one farm. So it looks smaller, or looks larger than it actually is. I think food is going to be a big deal in this mission. We also have a, a mountain range there and here. And the rest is just open desert. I think money is going to be a problem in this mission. And food. We also have a ferry crossing here and a bridge. And what my plan is, is I want to plant some more pomegranate here. Because at and cut off food supply to our own village so we can start uh, supplying food for the famine in other cities so our kingdom rating goes up. Then I want to finish off these ferry crossings, put a port right here, 
and then set up an area here for trading. We are going to start trading. Um, let's take a look. I think we're going to start trading uh, beer is a good one first and then possibly linen later on. We're going to trade it through over here. I'm going to put some breweries and stuff over here, I think, to start off with. And hopefully we don't plunge too far in the hole. So I'm going to set that up. Clean this area up here. Finish these bridges. Put a trading area and possibly a housing block right here. And I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And here is my farm set up for the beginning. I have irrigated everything to get the maximum I can. I've got four barley and some pomegranates and i think one of these are figs here yes and i'm gonna put some uh, brewers over here but i think my next step is to set up a trading route here and uh and some housing blocks over here so i'm gonna get started on that and i'll be right back all right i have a housing block and we are now officially out of money they gave us a little bit of bonus we have 556 gold there Here's our initial housing block, and I think I'm going to build probably four of these to meet the 7,000 population. And here is our little trading center, and I've got some potters ready, or some breweries ready to go here, with a place to put uh, barley and a place to put pomegranate here. Pomegranate. My next step is that we're going to open up trade with well the was set we're gonna have to to buy some clay so we can do some pottery later on here is our city i think we're gonna set up trade with these guys here we're gonna get some to start selling our beer we're gonna open up trade with these guys and i'm gonna start to trade off the beer and everything else i'm gonna get all of this set up and uh, i'll bring it right back all right, we're back, and I set up another trading area here for figs. We're going to stockpile a full storage yard of figs and a full storage yard here of pomegranate so we can give to anybody that's asking. They're going to be asking for figs. They're going to be asking for pomegranate for the starving people, so we are going to give them every single uh, chance we get. Our kingdom rating right now is 40. And we are a little bit in debt, so I'm going to let this run for a little while, and I'm going to bring you back once we are out of debt here. All right, we have a, another harvest being completed here. I got some more housing going on. We are short people here. So I want to get this up. And I've added some more farms. Added some more barley and some more uh, pomegranate and figs on this side. I want to fill this up and I think I'm going to probably remove this at some point and flip it over here so that this is our main area housing and then just remove these houses and put more breweries in here I think is my uh, my plan. So I'm going to let this run for a little while until we are out of debt and hopefully we're going to start selling some beer here shortly and I'll bring it right back. All right, we've got some more brewers set up. We have a full uh, stockyard of barley, one of pomegranate, and this one is almost full with uh, figs. I think my next step is to continue expanding the, the farming areas here and also building onto this, this city block. I want this to be my main one and to start getting rid of this and just make this breweries here. So I'm going to continue doing that, and I'll bring it back when something changes. Oh, and here we go. We have a request for figs in seven months. Let's give that to them right now, is what I mean. We are going to have, be storing full storage yards of this food. All right, I'll bring you back when something here has changed. I haven't built anything on this side yet. All right, I'm falling into debt here. We have not quite got our brewery production happening. Almost. I'm going to let this run for a while longer and see if we can get rid of this debt. See if we can start making enough beer to support ourselves here. I'll be right back. 
All right, we are now out of debt, and I built a granary with uh, protections here. Our kingdom standing is climbing. We are meeting their demands, although I keep falling into debt over and over again. Our kingdom standing is not that great. It's at 21. I'm going to have to build the um, personal mansion and start uh, giving the pharaoh money to raise this up. Hopefully it's going to happen. We are short a lot of people, so I'm trying to get to level this up. I think I'm going to let this run for a while and see what happens here. I'll bring you right back. All right, to help it along, I've done some beautification in this area. So these houses are now into the next tier. We do still have a slight food problem. I wonder what's I'm going on here. I'm not taking these supplies any further until someone's available to unload them. Yeah, we still are short people. This is our problem. We are really short on people. I'm going to let this run. We are in debt. Hopefully we're going to get enough people moving into this area right here. I might have to do a little bit more fiddling around to maybe push these houses up into the next uh, tier. Uh, I'll bring you back once something changes. All right, I set up some linen trade here. We have some flax. We have linen and some uh, linen makers, cloth makers. We have some flax down here. I think we're going to have to expand that. I also put an area here for extra barley, although I don't think this is going to last. We're going to try to sell some to get us out of debt. We are still short people, not by much, but we still are. And I'm going to have to need to expand the food. We are still having a food issue as well. So I'm going to let this run for a little while, see if we can get out of debt, and I'll bring you right back. All right, we are still in debt. Our kingdom rating is still at 12. And we are still short people. So I've built a second block and expand on this. And I put in some doctors here, some, some physicians. We are starting to sell some stuff, but not enough. We're going to have to expand our industries here. I put some beautifications here. Maybe I could level these guys up. But I think I'm going to get rid of this stuff pretty soon. Anyways, we're going to let this run. We are now out of debt. So I'm going to let this run a little bit, make up some money, and see what needs expanding next. I'll bring you back when something changes here. I built the Dynasty Mansion here so we can start working on our Kingdom rating here. Even though we are meeting their needs, we keep plunging into the negatives and it's hurting our Kingdom rating. So I want to start sending money to the Pharaoh here to help that out. We still need to upgrade our brewery. We are selling some beer, but we do, we're still not making enough linen to meet their demands either. So I'm going to let this run and get some more money out and start expanding everything here. We still need to do some beautification over on this area too. So once something changes, I will bring you right back. All right. I got rid of a bunch of houses and put some work camps in here to deal with this unemployment. We're at 4%. That's better. We still are not making nearly enough stuff here. We are out of debt, however, and holding it, and we have food problems. There is a lot of stuff wrong. I did put some more shrines and stuff here to keep the gods happy. We need all the favors we can get. Our kingdom standing climbs. We are meeting all of their demands for food. We sent away 2,400 jars of figs. So we are meeting all of those, which is good. Our kingdom standing doesn't climb very much. See, it was at 14. That gave us three. So we need to start sending gifts to the Pharaoh here. There we go, 27. So I'll start doing that. I'm gonna let this run for a little more and see where I can improve. We don't have a whole lot of money to do anything with at the moment. So I'm gonna let this run, get some money and then start expanding our businesses and housing. All right, I've expanded our uh, farms here. We've got some more uh, flax farms going here and some fig farms and pomegranate farms we hopefully this is going to help with our food issue we don't have enough food to feed our people and to keep up the demands of the famine you can see we don't have very many figs or flax here at all and we need to start selling way more linen yeah, and we need to get more barley happening. We need more of everything at this moment. 
but for now we've got some more farms i'm going to keep an eye on this uh food shortage and once something changes i'll bring you back all right i've expanded our linen now that we are having some flax build up we have four i may add some more and we have two down here i believe yeah we have six fields i'm wondering if that's going to be enough i'm going to keep an eye on that we are selling stuff. We are out of debt. So we're making some money right now. I'm hoping that the linen will pick up. I think that's going to be really good for us. And hopefully we can stick with the beer. I like to still expand our beer operation. And everyone is pleased with us. We are still running out of food every year though. So this is a problem. I'm going to try to fix that. All right, we're expanding some more. We are still having food issues, although I'm starting to order in some clay and we've got some potters back here making pottery and a place right here for pottery to go. I'm going to put some granaries over here soon as well. This food issue is becoming a problem. I'm going to have to start really focusing on that. We're going to have to plant some more uh, farms I believe is next so I'm gonna get that done and we'll see where it leads us all right I put in another uh, granary here so I realized that we were filling this up and some of them were getting caught in the waves and not making it so I've put more than they need so hopefully this is gonna help us with our food and I've placed a whole bunch of more barley because I want to, I got rid of the uh, work camps as well because I set up some more farms to start expanding this. We are looking pretty good. We've got some good sales happening now and we've got our pottery all stocked up. So we are getting ahead of the game and we are 5,000 plus. We are doing pretty good. We are not even close to reaching a goal of 7,000 population though. Take a look at our kingdom standing is 31. Still not that great. But we are definitely getting over the hard hump here. I'm going to let this run for a little while longer and see what I need next. All right, we got some entertainment going on over here. So this should help them out some more. It looks like we have a bunch of people now moving in as well. So we're pretty doing pretty good. We are selling more stuff but as the demands go up and they start taking more beer to uh give to our population this may have a problem and when we get the mortuaries going this might be a problem so we're going to keep an eye on that and see how it goes we are only 600 plus although we are getting a flood of people let's take a look we do have room for them we're quite a bit short here so I'm going to let this go and see how our population get it stabilized and we're leveling more people up here. More houses are leveling up. We're looking pretty good. I'm going to let this stabilize for a little bit and we'll see where it goes. All right, I'm back and I had to put in some more work camps here because our population was getting a little sketchy. It's at 6%. And we've got these houses all level up and they seem to be pretty stable at the moment and our food is looking good and we're selling stuff although the beer may need adjusting here not sure looking all right i put in some more um shrines here I had to put some shrines in here and shrines over here to keep the gods pleased when we get a big flux of people all right i set up a bunch of these storage yards here for granite there is one two three four of them i believe we do need i think it's a hundred what do we need here yes a hundred blocks to start building the the obelisks so we're got going that i think we're going to build the obelisks over here beside this pyramid and get the working camps here i know it's a quite of a ways but i don't want the boats traveling or the the walkers to walk all the way around here i want to keep this tight so we're gonna have the we're gonna have the blocks stored right here so we're gonna let that run and the question now is do we make enough money to afford the blocks it's gonna be very difficult i want to get those these blocks all bought before i have to start ordering in um papyrus and stuff so i don't think we're being able to afford it this is what the tricky game is now 
is balancing this money from the stuff we need to buy and what we can the limited amount we can sell of of linen and beer this has still got a whole bunch of work camps yeah it's at 12 percent. we need even more work camps i think i'm gonna have to fix that and i'll do that right now also yeah i'll do that right now and we'll get this all fixed up here all right, we are back in the hole. I've got the tax collectors out now. That's looking pretty good. And I put in the city palace over here. So we're looking all right. We put some more work camps down here as well. I really don't like the work camps all that much, but we have to control this unemployment somehow. We are still dipping into the negatives all the time. Our kingdom rating is 40. I have been doing the bribes to him 20 months. Let's dispatch another one here. We're at 50. Although we are in the negatives here quite a bit. We're going to have to watch this closely. This is a balancing act for sure. We have just started getting in granite. We have only 18 blocks. We need at least 100 before we can start the first obelisk. I'm going to let this run for a little while, try to get out of debt here, and I'll bring you back. All right, we got, we're out of debt almost over 3,000 gold. I put in some courthouses to give these guys an extra boost. Let's take a look. We have 2% unemployment. I got rid of some of these uh, work camps because we've built our obelisk making camp right here. And you can see the blocks are coming in and we are maintaining the price although we are out of beer which is a big deal we need to maybe adjust this yeah we have nothing has changed in on the farms at all and we only have the two housing blocks we are not even halfway to our desired goal yet although we are affording it right now we just want to make sure we can afford these blocks and we don't plunge ourselves into debt. So I'm going to let this run for a while and hopefully we can get these blocks going quick and I'll bring it back if we start the obelisk. All right, I've expanded the uh, linen making business because I have put in uh, two mortuaries and I want to see how much they take out of our uh, linen. We still don't have enough beer going on, which is definitely a problem. We are in debt. So I added some more beer uh, factories here. So hopefully that's going to give us a stockpile again. We're going to have to keep an eye on it as the city grows and demand for beer goes up with our own population and the more mortuaries we put in to make sure that we still have enough to sell because we are plunging ourselves into debt. Let's take a look at this. We only have 69 blocks. We still have, what, uh, 30 to go. I'll bring it back once that takes place. All right, we finally got enough blocks to start the first obelisk. I th there is more than one. We're going to at least two here. I'm going to let this go. We only have three blocks left over. I'm going to have to get the... Uh, the wood over here we're gonna have to start ordering wood and i believe i'm gonna have to connect this all together so i do believe i have a stockpile of wood right here but we can't get it over here so i'm gonna fix all this and get this going and i'll bring it back all right i'm back and we have a bunch of blocks 83 i've opened up trade here for papyrus and we've put in the scribble schools now as well so these have leveled up which has caused me some unemployment issues. We, it's under control right now, but I had to add more work camps again. We have quite a few work camps here, which I don't really like doing, but I don't seem to think I have a choice. And we are now out of linen, although beer is looking pretty good. We got to work on this linen. We need more, although I'm running out. I don't think this, yeah, it's not getting there fast enough. So we have some idle ones going on. Take a look here. We are at 88 granite blocks. We're almost ready to get the second one. The first one here is built. We're almost ready to get the second obelisk ready to go here. I'll bring it back when we start doing that. 
All right, I'm back, and we are looking pretty good for money. We are out of everything, though. This is becoming a serious problem. But in the meantime, as we work on that, I'm also, we got to get rid of these variable visions. I've already given the pottery. We have 100 more beer to give. We have 3,000 linen to do, 600 papyrus, and I finished giving the granite blocks. We have 56 stored, so we're back down uh, to waiting for them to arrive before we can start the second obelisk. But we, let's get those burial provisions taken care of. We are holding tight at 56 there, and we are still at zero with only one short. We're doing pretty good on that front. I'm gonna let this run for a while. We have money, and we'll see how this pans out. All right, we've got the next obelisk set up. Let's take a look at our burial provisions here. We finished the beer, finished the papyrus, finished the blocks. All we need is linen, and I'm trying to do that as fast as possible. We are in debt, though. We have a nice stockpile of beer now. We are hurting on linen. I want to get rid of that uh, provision first, even if we take a debt hit. We can afford a debt hit right now. It is at 63, so we can take a debt hit, and I think now is the perfect time. Let's get the linen out of the way. These guys look pretty stable. We could do some beautification down here, but they are ready to go. And I think this is as high as we need to go. Let's check it out. 50. Oh, we need a Senate house. That'll put us into the 60. And I think we have room for the Senate house right here. This is where we're going to put it. Anyways, we're in debt. I'm going to let this run. I'm going to get out of debt, and I'll bring you back. All right, I'm back. And the second obelisk is now complete. Oh. I wanted to go here and all of this while well, we need let's dispatch this all we are now everything here is complete so we're looking good we still have we're still in debt though let's take a look at our kingdom standing is at 43 we did take a debt hit already we're getting some linen back we've got a good supply of beer and this seems to be stable. Although we could use some more food, it looks like. We're going to definitely have to expand and fine-tune this. I have added a few more barley here and some... Uh, what are these? Fig farms to combat that. We're going to be fine-tuning these farms as we go to find the perfect mix because it's so lim limited. Anyways, I'm going to let this run and see if I can get myself out of debt. And we're going to start expanding the city. I think our next goal is to get to the 7,000 population. All right, I'm going to throw some houses in the middle of this. I think this block is pretty much done. So I'm going to put the uh, every extra space a house. We are just over halfway. And I'm getting ready to build another housing block right here. We've added some entertainment so we can get everything covered. And I've put in some more granaries up here. And right here, we have a full stockpile getting ready for our... Yeah, because we're going to have to double our population here real quick. Everything else seems to be running all right. I did get rid of the work camps again. Because we opened up all of this, uh, you know, the granaries and the more entertainment. So I'm going to expand into a third housing block here, and I'll be right back. All right, I got the beginnings of our third housing block. We are at 4,255 people. We are 1,000 in the hole. Our kingdom rating is down to 36, and we have a 6% unemployment rate. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. And we are still not that great. We are running out. Yeah, it's kind of unstable up here, isn't it? The pottery's doing pretty good. But the uh, the linen makers here are having an issue. And, we, and we're running out of beer here as well. I did get rid of some breweries here. I think I'm going to have to put them back. And the farms. I'm kind of fiddling with the farms, trying to find the right mix. See, we still have people sitting down here. So I'm going to try to fine-tune the food and everything to see how it goes. I'm going to let this run and get this populated, and we'll see where we sit once that happens. All right, I put some beautification in here. 
Let's take a look at these. They have no food. So hopefully they're going to start getting some food going. It's doing all right. Yeah, now the food is coming through here. This is going to start leveling up. And hopefully we can get into the closer to the 7,000 mark. Still, our profits are not very good. We're out of beer again. So we're going to have to adjust that. Pottery is still holding on, it looks like. Yeah. I'm going to let this run and see if we can stabilize it a little bit. All right, I finished putting everything that we need in this. We got the courthouse, scribble schools, mortuaries, you know, tax collector. The whole nine yards is in here. These houses are doing pretty good. I put in the Senate house right here. I think we are now at the 60. Yes, we are. We still need some prosperity because we just spent a whole bunch. Our monument is there. Our kingdom rating is down to 21. And I have been giving a gift every 12 months here. So we're barely hanging on. We're doing all right. Our pottery is becoming an issue. Food is now a serious issue. Food is number one. I'm gonna have to take a look at that and do some adjusting on these farms. See if we need all of that stuff. We're also kind of short on barley as well. Yeah, we are short on everything. I'm going to take a good look at this and uh, once something changes, I'll bring you back. All right, we are making some good money here now. Although our food problem is still an issue, I've opened up trade for tri chickpeas. But you can see here, yeah, we're not doing so good on the food. We're going to run out again this year. I'm going to have to do some more fine tuning. I did add a bunch more brewers here and we have a full stock here. So beer, I think is good. We added some more um, linen here as well. So that is good. I think we're going to, we're making enough money. It's the food now. Food is a problem still. So I'm going to continue looking at that and see if I can improve it. All right, I plunge ourselves into debt. I built the complete temple here to Osiris. He is the god, I believe, of agriculture. And we are having food issues still. Hopefully by building this to him, he's going to bless us away and give us better harvest. I have adjusted this a little bit more. We do have more food now than we did before. A little less barley. Yeah, hopefully we can make it. We are still in the hole. Let's take a look at our kingdom standing is 26. We do have full supplies here, which is great to see. So our trade is at full swing. Can we manage to hold out? This is an issue now. Pottery. I'm going to have to look at because I think they are running out of pottery here. Pottery at two. Not enough entertainment either. That is another issue. We're going to have to look at that. Anyways, we're going to see if I can stabilize this and we plunge ourselves into debt again. I'm going to try to stabilize this and keep an eye on the food and see if I can work on the pottery here. All right, I added some more granary here because we still need a thousand people and this is now level up. We're going to have to put another block here, I believe. I'm not sure if we need another block or not, but I think we're going to be, I think we don't, I don't think we can squeeze another thousand people out of this. So we are getting close. Food seems to be pretty good. Pottery is still an issue. And we've got full supplies here. We're doing great on all fronts. And we're holding our own here. What is our, our prosperity rating? Is at 41 since I have been sending gifts. You're 19 months. Let's send them another gift. Up to 51 here. So we're doing all right. Back into debt. I think the next step here is to add, an, add a fourth housing block. I think is next. 
All right, our supply of pottery is coming back. I put in a few more potters up here and I've opened up trade. So there's two areas here buying, storing clay. That'll give them two people running back and forth. So we're getting a supply here. Food is really good now. We've got that solved. We are making enough beer and linen. We are looking up. We just need to get out of debt. And we are still about 700, 800 short from our population goal. We're going to have to build. I'm getting ready to build another uh, block here. So I'm going to start building this block and I'll bring you back. All right. I got uh, a little block here. This is going to be our little slum area. It looks like we have made the 7,000 mark. We are out of debt. Let's take a look. We need more musicians and stages. Our prosperity is there. Monument rating there. Our kingdom rating has plummeted again because we keep going into debt, although we have made the population. I think I'm going to put a um, pavilion over here and put some booths. Should solve our, our culture rating. I'm going to do that, fine-tune this, and get ready and bring us closer to our final marks here and I'll bring you back all right I'm back and we've put in some boost is all we needed we've got the 60 culture rating we've got the prosperity rating we've got the monument rating this is at 66 we've got this and we have only two months to go here I'm gonna let this run and in the two months, I think once we can give the Pharaoh another gift, we're going to have this mission accomplished. Food's looking great. We are running out of barley, although the harvest here is almost done. So it's not too bad. And we've extended barley quite a bit, or the breweries quite a bit here. We're looking really good. We've got this mission covered, I think. Let's take a look. 11 months. Next month, we are going to have it. Oh, and I put a pavilion here as well. That looks pretty good. We don't need to do much more than that. Tomb robber has been apprehended. Let's take a look. Everything here is still finished. Twelve months. Let's give them that. Dispatch. We are at 79, 21, 54, 60. And our population has been met. And there is our victory for today. We're going to take a look at my score. Thanks for stopping by. And we'll see you soon. The fine pyramids and obelisks you have built for me stand as testament to my reign, and for that, I am deeply grateful. Your dedication shall be rewarded.